Hey everyone, this is going to be a speed test comparison between the best two smartphones that Samsung has to offer, the Galaxy S7 Edge and the Galaxy Note 7. So let's go and get started, powering both on at the same time. So both these are on the latest version of Marshmallow. Uh, also, both of these are United States version, so that means that they have a Snapdragon 820. Also, both are on Verizon. So I think it's going to be a pretty even matchup. I do expect the Note 7 to do a little bit better, but we'll see how it holds up. As you see here, it looks like it is loading up a little bit quicker, bo or booting up a little bit quicker. And yes, first one to boot up. But just by a couple seconds. So I was going to enter my pin on both of them since I restarted the phones. And we're going to get started. Now I do got to say I really love the Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, I've owned it since March. Bought it at launch and one of my favorite phones. Uh, probably might even be my favorite phone along with the Xperia X Performance. I think both of them are probably one and two as my favorite phones. Alright guys, so let's go and get started with Temple Run 2. So you notice that on the Note 7 the screen is slightly bigger. Now both are Quad HD, but the Note 7 is 5.7 inches versus 5.5 on the S <clears throat> excuse me, on the S7 Edge. And it looks like it's loading up Temple Run 2 a little bit quicker. Yeah, so winning this round pretty handily just by about a second okay let's look at some other apps yes yeah, so I really have high hopes for the Note 7 uh, so far in my first couple of days of using it I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with it again faster there on the Note 7 let's click at settings Lightning click on both. I funny. Again, faster here on Note 7. Oh, uh, we'll good YouTube. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Just on Note 7, some of the images at the bottom are loading. I think a little slower. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, we'll get calculator next. Again, really close. Clock. Same result looks like. Um, we'll get calendar. Asphalt eight, so another game we're gonna load up. Now both these phones have the same front and rear facing cameras, five megapixels on the front, twelve megapixels on the back. Uh, I gotta say, I think the cameras are pretty, well, at least the rear-facing camera is pretty good. The front-facing is okay, but not great. Alright, so interesting. This one, the S7 Edge, loading up quicker. And both do have the Snapdragon 820 with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So the specs are actually pretty similar. Uh, a few more differences I'll talk about in a second. Let's look at photos. Close there. Um, let's look at, oh yeah, so I ran into earlier. Now this is after a lot of use. Um, so I think very impressive scores. Now this is actually one of the lower scores that I got for the S7 Edge. Usually I get around, uh, around 137,000 to 139,000. But, still very impressive score. Let's look at the rankings. So you see there, the note right on top detail and the S7 Edge again usually guys I think it's more last time I did this I actually finished in second place around 139 but again I was using a lot uh, here is more in depth look at those scores alright we're going to look at eBay and then camera and we will be looking at Chrome later. All right, so faster here on the S7 Edge. Uh, let's bring up, so yeah, we'll do camera. 
Let's put both these on the same setting. Oh, you see the interface is a little bit different. Actually, not completely used to the Note 7 interface yet. Um, all right, I think both are on. Yeah, I think both are on the same setting. Actually, no, they're not. One second. Oh, right up here. Okay. So it's going to switch this to 4x3, 12 megapixels. And this one should be 4x3, 12 megapixels. Let me make sure. Yep. Okay. So it's going to snap some pictures, see which one's quicker taking pictures. And we'll have a more in-depth um, camera video on this later. Yeah, obviously pretty hard to tell. Maybe the Note 7 processing some of them a little bit quicker. All right, well, either way, both are extremely quick. Um, I guess we'll bring up Chrome. Oh, and then you also see on the Note 7, so you do have this extra column here on the right side. And we'll be showing you guys S Pen in a minute. Again, guys, faster on the Note 7. Um, let's go to some websites. Go to Nintendo first. Bad look there for the Americans in the Olympics. Uh, again, faster on Note 7. I gotta say, I think that the Note 7 is actually doing better than I was expecting. Um, I was expecting it to maybe be a little bit faster, but since the specs, I mean, the specs for the most part are pretty similar. Oops, should we stay in the Chrome? Uh, I'll do a couple more sites. So I think after this, I actually might switch over to Note 7 for my Verizon phone anyways. All right, so faster there on the S7 Edge, uh, we'll do Yahoo. And then we're going to do IGN last. Very close there. And just IGN. Oops, messed that up. Um, try it one more time. Alright, so again, faster on the Note 7, but I did click on it a little bit earlier, so I'm not sure if that impacted at all um so yeah guys you see one of the differences you do have a lot more apps on the note 7 or rather you have like a lot more space on the screen um so i'll bring up the sound next actually i'll show you guys fingerprint scanner so both these fingerprint scanners i think are pretty good both are located at the same place Actually, they're doing not so well so far for this test, but all right, there we go. Especially, okay, so for the notes, let me just do it with one hand. I think it's easier that way. Um, for this, for example, I did register one with my with my left finger, but I like never use it and did it pretty quickly. So. Do about five times or so. Yeah, guys, so I mean, it, it is really reliable. Not the fastest, but 
I mean, even if it doesn't get the first second, you can just kind of preposition your finger a little bit and it should get it. Now for the note seven. So you see no issues with it so far. And relatively quick, not the quickest again, but I still think it's a pretty good fingerprint scanner. Uh, let me just go over some more specs. Uh, so it covers some of the internals. Um, so now the American version of the S7 Edge unfortunately only ships with 32 gigabytes versus 64 on a Note 7. Both have micro SD card support. Um, the battery is actually slightly bigger on the S7 Edge at 3600 versus um, 3500 on the Note 7. So interesting, not sure why, but that is one advantage that the S7 Edge has. Um, now another method of uh, unlocking your phone on the Note 7 is an iris scanner. So I will have more videos on that. It's apparently a lot more secure than just using a fingerprint. Uh, so cool feature there on, at the bottom. So both these have the headphone jack, the speaker at the bottom, but you'll notice that this has USB Type-C on the S7 Edge, or sorry, uh, mic USB on the S7 Edge versus USB Type-C on the Note 7, so newer technology on the Note 7. But for those of you guys who have a lot of mic USB cords, you might prefer the S7 Edge. And both are waterproof, um, and I will be showing the pen in a minute. Let me just do a couple more tests here. Um, so I'll do sound next. All right, so we're going to look at volume here. That's a note seven. get notifications Maybe a little bit louder on a Note 7, I think. At least it sounds the way to me. Let me know what you guys think. And let's look at System Last. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit louder on a Note 7. Alright, and let me just show you guys this S Pen. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, I've never owned a Note phone before, so I'm still pretty new at this. Um, let's go into the box screen. Oops. So both these phones have an always on display. Uh, you'll notice that the Note 7 is a little bit more advanced though. So it does display like text messages and missed calls. Uh, on this you also, well actually, the battery is just readjusted there, but let me show you one of the cool features on Note 7. So at the bottom here you have the uh, S Pen. Get that out. Now, if you want, so let's just say if I want to, um, you know, I'm at work or something, want to write a note, want to just remind myself, or rather, let's say, get milk. Want to get milk after work, do that, save it. And it's saved, don't even have to unlock my phone, put it right back in. So personally, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, now, I will be doing a lot more videos with the S Pen. Again, guys, pretty new with that. Um, and let me just give you a little bit more of a tour of the outside of the phone. So you see this is black color and then silver on the Note 7. 
Now Note 7 is a little bit thicker, so keep that in mind. But it is still pretty comfortable to hold, very rounded edges. Uh, now the screen, the screen on the S7 Edge is definitely more curved at the side. Both screens are curved a little bit. See there? Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh yeah, and one more thing. So the Note, uh, Note 7 did just come out. It is more expensive. Uh, going to cost you a couple hundred dollars more, so keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, I think I covered everything. Again, really love the S7 Edge. So far, I've been impressed with the Note 7, so I have high hopes for it. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already. And let me know in the comment section what video you want to see next.